in House of the Dragon, Alicent consistently gets the short end of the stick as more of a victim than a villain. And in this video, I'm gonna prove that disliking Rey is justified. This is a deep dive from the topic in my last video, but something that didn't come up was that Alicent is justified in not liking Rhaenyra. If her reasons for not liking her are justified, then her actions against her are more rational because Rhaenyra would be an actual threat. As we'll get into later, Alicent was manipulated by Otto to believe that duty is extremely valuable, and this is supported by the general society that they live in. Sir Christian's sense of duty helped ruin his whole life, and you can say the same thing to Viserys, who probably didn't really want to be king in the first place. So when Rhaenyra breaks her duty and has sex with Sir Christian, it was obviously a big deal for Allison. We never see Allison go out into flea bottom or have fun with other guys. You could definitely argue that the whole sense of duty thing in this world is dumb, which I would agree with you, but when understanding character modes, we have to look at it through their eyes and that society's lens. So it's completely reasonable to see why Allison would be disappointed when this was drilled in her head so thoroughly. The nail in the coffin was when Ray lied to Allison. Prior to this, they were best friends, and lying about this would be a pretty big deal. I've seen some people try to argue that Ray didn't lie to Allison because she specifically asked her if she did anything with Damon. While this obviously isn't true, she still did stuff with Damon, so it doesn't matter anyway. Even if Allison asked Ray if she had sex with Sir Christian specifically, she'd probably still lie about it. This undoubtedly conjured trust issues between the two, which can be seen when Ray proposes that Jason and Elena get married. Allison is very dismissive of this and wants to know what Rhaenyra's true motives, when in reality the motives for the proposal were probably genuine. Also not mentioning that Ray lying got Otto dismissed his hand. This is glossed over but it's a pretty big deal since this means that Allison probably didn't see Otto for years after this point, and it also likely added to the mistrust and overall antagonizing towards Rhaenyra. But the climax in all of these problems are Rhaenyra's children. Allison had to stay with this old sick man for a large chunk of her life and was forced to have his kids, so seeing Rhaenyra mess around with multiple other people definitely doesn't seem fair to her, especially when you consider the fact that Rhaenyra is heir to the throne and should have more responsibilities and or duties than Allison. This explains her hostility and demandingness to see her newborn in episode 6. The bastards pretty much sum up all of the reasons Allison has to dislike her ex-best friend, and their births just justify to Allison why she should be against the blacks. In this section, we're going to focus on Viserys and specifically how bad of a father he is. This can be credited towards Viserys being a bad king as well, but he plays multiple roles in making Allison's life harder than it has to be. The first big problem is that he ignores his children. It's definitely aided in his kids turning out so badly, especially when you consider that Aegon's whole problem is that he feels ignored and unloved since Viserys pretty much just ignores him since Rhaenyra is his heir. This leads to Allison having to do damage control to try to reprimand his actions. For instance, she has to give Diana moon tea and discipline Aegon, which it's implied that this has happened before. While Alicent isn't blameless in the different types of abuse her and children endure, there's no question that Viserys doing this made her life much harder than it had to be. And the fact that she's in a forced marriage makes this a lot worse. Speaking of Alicent's kids, remember that scene where Viserys doesn't punish Luke or Jace for cutting out Aemon's eye? This seems to be pretty representative of his role. He never really defends his wife or children and at multiple points talks about Emma in front of Alicent's face. He would think Viserys would provide his kids and wife some form of priority, but he just doesn't, leading Alicent to have this us versus them mindset against Rhaenyra, especially since Rey can do whatever she wants without consequences. With this in mind, you can definitely understand Allison's bareness towards the whole situation, since her own husband won't even stand up for her. He openly talks about his ex-wife, which died because of him, and add in the fact that he ignores her problems and needs. The only time Viserys recognizes Allison is when she's taking care of him, and you factor in that Viserys was the king and his word is law, that means that having a support will go a very long way. My last problem with Viserys in reference to this video is him taking advantage of Allison. Besides Viserys, making Allison his caretaker, the thing that's not talked about enough in regards to him is the marital rape. Viserys orders Allison to his room and has sex with her although she's obviously not interested. When Aegon is seen as terrible because he rapes people, this doesn't make sense to me as to why this isn't addressed. Allison was already shown to likely have anxiety problems since the show puts an emphasis on how much she picks her fingers, and she does it in this sex scene as well. It'd obviously be redundant to state the amount of trauma this would cause, but it does reinforce the idea that her sense of duty is being manipulated or warped, since she probably felt obligated to have sex acts with Viserys since she is his wife. No other character in the show really has this problem, or at the least it's not shown explicitly in the show, adding to Allison's victimization. The biggest argument for Allison being a victim is all the manipulation that goes on in the show, especially at the start where she's essentially a pawn and has no autonomy in how her life plays out. There's three main characters that victimize Allison the most, so let's get into them. We can't talk about Allison without talking about Otto. It seems like from birth, Allison was destined to be Otto's pawn. Let's assume that Otto's motives are to gain more power and get his kids on the throne, which is evident throughout the show since she pushes Allison to marry Viserys so hard. Pretty much all of Allison's and Otto's interactions is him leading her to gain power, whether that's through Viserys or discrediting 
Rhaenyra were there. And the scene of Otto leaving, he tells her that Rhaenyra will likely kill her children if she ever asks the throne. There's no evidence of Ray being as cruel to anyone at this point. Well, yes, she did lie and have sex with her Christian, that's a big jump to murdering children. But Otto succeeds and gets Allison to believe the lie, which is what leads her to push Aegon to be king in the first place, which is evident in this scene. In other scenes, Otto tells her to wear a nice dress so Viserys will open up to her more. And after Allison stabs Ray, Otto tries to take advantage of her, saying that he didn't know she had a dark side. All of this does make a lot of sense though from Otto's perspective, since Allison had multiple male siblings and she wasn't even a firstborn. So Otto would definitely see her as expendable. Of course, next we have to talk about Laris. I find Laris to be a very interesting character. The way he manipulates Allison is he gets her hands dirty. When she complains about the other strongs, he kills them and acts as if she wanted it, which ropes her into the deed. Now that her hands are dirty and she's seen what Laris can do, she has to go back to him for help or her kids might die if Rhaenyra gets the upper hand. Or at least that's what she thinks. And at that point, it becomes extremely easy for Laris to exploit Allison need to protect her children, to the point where she'll even degrade herself pretty extensively just for information. While yes, you could argue that's Allison's fault for dealing with Laris in the first place, you have to remember that A, Laris groomed Allison as a child, and B, from Allison's perspective, she has to do this to protect her kids. Any info against Rhaenyra could be life-saving. It's hard to fault Allison for thinking this way because, like we discussed earlier, Otto groomed Allison from an early age to be against Rhaenyra. Most people in this situation would turn out this way. The last person I'm going to reference is, again, Viserys. While I'm not going to say much since a lot of it was already said in the Viserys section, there is something to be said about how dismissive he is towards her concerns. Whenever Allison has a concern about Rhaenyra or something else, Viserys downplays it even when he knows it's not correct. This can definitely be chalked up to a form of manipulation. Like after Allison checked on Joffrey and Viserys told her that nature works in mysterious ways. This is obviously just a downplay. Viserys knows these kids are bastards. He's just disregarding Allison's feelings and this happens throughout the rest of the series. All in all, I think Allison is a more tragic character than anything else. And while this video isn't giving her a pass for her actions, I think it would be beneficial to actually look into why she does the things she does. If you like this video, then give it a like or subscribe. I consistently make content like this weekly, so join my community and in the meantime, watch this video. See ya.